Um, my name is Britton Sutphin. My name is Jim Baum. Um, my name is Katie. I am 18 years old. Um, my name is Tracy Conway. My name is Levi Poza and I experienced sudden cardiac arrest on November 6, 2009. I'm Tori Sorensen and when I was 22 years old I suffered a sudden cardiac arrest. I had sudden cardiac arrest when I was 16 on December 5, 2009. I had sudden cardiac arrest eight years ago when I was 65 years old. And in 1995 on January 21st at the age of 38 I collapsed with sudden death cardiac arrest. Hi, my name is Dr. Joanne Damas and I'm board certified in emergency medicine. Sudden cardiac arrest is actually the leading cause of death in this country. It claims approximately 350,000 lives a year. It claims more lives than lung cancer, breast cancer, prostate cancer, AIDS, motor vehicle accidents, house fires, and handguns combined. Approximately 900 Americans a day are dying from this disease. Sudden cardiac arrest occurs because your heart starts beating abnormally. The electrical impulses in the heart become chaotic and that person collapses and passes out, stops talking to you and stops breathing normally. Uh, it was just another swim practice about a week into the season and I jumped in for my first lap and had a sudden cardiac arrest under the water. I was in PE class. I was coming back down the length of the gym and about halfway um, back, um, I just collapsed. I was at gym class, I think it was like third period, just playing basketball, which is my favorite sport. And then uh, went to go get a drink of water and hit the floor. <laughs> I collapsed during an intramural basketball game and I was running back um, play defense and turned to my friend and he said I just looked at him and just collapsed. And then the show ended and we all waved goodnight and from what I've been told because I don't remember any of this, um, apparently we waved goodnight, the camera shut off and I collapsed and the audience cracked up because they thought I was just clowning around. And we walked in and he called me into the bedroom and said, you know, I'm having these symptoms and I called Bob and Marnie in, and as we were talking to him, he died. Survival rates for cardiac arrest are abysmal, 5%. But with CPR and the use of the AED, survival rates go up to about 70%. Uh, my teammate noticed that something wasn't right, and she jumped in and pulled me up to the edge of the pool. Uh, CPR was started, and after CPR was unsuccessful, they retrieved the AED, and it took two shocks to, um, yeah, resuscitate me, <laughs> restart my heart. So the school nurse and my PE teacher did CPR until the um, fire department came, um, and then the fire department took over the CPR and used their AED to restart my heart. The coaches and the principal, they acted pretty quickly. Uh, I've been told that I was uh, shocked a whole bunch of times by the AED and uh, had CPR, <laughs> CPR done by uh, the coaches and the principal at my school. There was a volunteer firefighter, which was he ran down and he put his fingers to my throat because he'd been trained to do so and then he just said, call 911 and he pushed me over onto my back and started doing very vigorous CPR. The court monitor saw me and immediately rushed to my side. One that called 911 and the other one began chest compressions and they saved my life. And thank goodness Bob and Marnie, both the doctor and nurse, she recognized the fact that she was watching Jim. Just said, Bob, we're losing Jim. And he just said, hand me the defibrillator. And she did and he put it on him and it said, you know, get ready. And we defibrillated him and brought him back and, and thank God he, we, I wouldn't have him. With the use of the AED, we can save upwards of 40,000 people a year. It's powerful. We need AEDs everywhere. We need them in our schools, malls, sporting areas, airports, anywhere where large numbers of people congregate. An AED can never hurt you. It will never shock you unless it needs to. The only way to hurt somebody with an AED is to not use it.
My name is Levi Poza and I experienced sudden cardiac arrest on November 6, 2009 and I live to tell the tale. I had sudden cardiac arrest and an AED saved my life. My name is Katie and I'm a sudden cardiac arrest survivor. My name is Tori and I'm a sudden cardiac arrest survivor. I am a sudden cardiac arrest survivor. I'm Tracy Conway and I'm a sudden cardiac arrest survivor.